Hello everyone, welcome to this Blender tutorial. I'm Gaskin Dev and today I'm going to show you how to create Ivy really quick in Blender in seconds. So I've got a texture download for this, it's in link in the description, download that first. And yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is go to edit, preferences, go to add-ons and enable the Ivy Gen add-on. And that's all you need to do for that step. And now go to the side here and this is basically generates ivy for you in just seconds it generates to where the cursor is your central cursor to change the location you shift right click and you can drag it anywhere on the screen so drag it to somewhere on the object you want to put ivy onto and just click add new ivy and straight away it'll add the ivy it doesn't have material yet but we'll go with that we'll do that later i'm just going to add a few more bits of ivy just to show you the different ways it adds them okay i think that's enough so now i'm going to add the materials to the ivy because if we were to say just made a green material for this ivy it wouldn't be very realistic and from a long way away it might look all right but it doesn't really cut it for me so i'm going to add a material for this ivy using ivy leaves the link to the texture stand in the description by from textures.com so what we need to do is go over to our shading tab up here and go to our ivy texture and press ctrl shift t make sure you have a node wrangler add-on enabled and then go to wherever you save the texture to once you've found the texture just grab the whole lot click on the last one and then shift click click on the first one and then shift click on the last one press principal texture setup and you see here there should be some pictures of different ivy leaves on every single one of these. So we didn't add the alpha in because it can't do that automatically for no Wrangler add-on. So we're going to have to do it manually. So press shift A and add an image texture. Open and now add your alpha map. It should look something like this. It should look something like this, just black and white. Add that in, add that image to here and shove it in the alpha. Now switch over to cycles mode on your render engine so that the alpha is supported and let me just add nature very quickly here we go our ivy's in our scene already it looks a lot more realistic but for every leaf that's generated there's only there's a whole texture of ivy that's just floating in the air once again from distance it looks good that's the golden rule of cgi if you want to leave it at this you can but if you need it up close what we can now do is go into the UV editing of our scene here, select everything by pressing A when you go into edit mode of your ivy, and then drag your mouse over to here, hover over here and select A again, and then press S to scale this down and move it over to where one of the ivies are. So now, if we tab out of edit mode, you can see that it now looks a lot more realistic. But the ivies are all facing one way, so what you could do is either rotate them so it looks more realistic, or you can move different squares into different places, but I wouldn't recommend doing this because you won't ever like stuff with this. So, now you can just add a text to your roots, and if you give me a second, I shall add it to all of the ivies. Yeah, so this is just basically just a great way of adding ivy to things, and it just makes it look so much more realistic with the textures on it. It makes it look like actual ivy. From a distance it's alright, I mean it's not the most high resolution tech things ever. But this is basically just the ivy gen add on. A quick way to add ivy to your scene. And I hope it helps you. See ya!